Hey guys, it's Denny here from Angel Handmade Paper Crafts. Today I have a creation for you from Time 40 Designs. I'm using the Fluffy Kitty, which I have uh, merged in Microsoft Word with Rainbow Bridge sentiments. I'm just working my way through using the C markers. I'm using C1, C3, C5, C7. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm just laying down a very rough coat of the C1 marker all over the little kitty. Nothing perfect. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be colored over the top anyway. So just <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, my asthma is playing up really bad at the moment. Not the best time for doing voiceovers. So just finishing off that rough coat. And now I am going in with my next lightest color, which is the C3 marker. I'm just going to carefully, um, flicking away from me, just flick all the way around the whole kitty. So I do find myself it's easier for me to flick it away from me, but you do it whatever the way that makes you comfortable. Excuse my horrible nails. I still haven't made it into the nail shop yet since um, a couple of days before the wedding. So my nails are still my wedding nails. And we have now been married three weeks. So it's definitely time to have them redone. I've been working crazy hours at my job just trying to catch up with things from while we were away on our honeymoon. And... Of course, I'm behind on all my design team stuff, so I'm trying to catch up on everything at the moment. It's just been crazy. So I'm just working my way all the way around, down both of the legs. I did actually only do the outside of the leg uh, with the lightest color, but as I went back around with the darker colors, I realized and done the rest. So I've, I've flicked out pretty far all the way around only because I'm working backwards. I don't normally work backwards, but I just thought with this kitty it would be easier to do it that way. Now I've just opened up my C7 marker, which is actually not the marker that I wanted to use anyway, um, and just noticed that it was filthy. So I've got some alcohol wipes here, so I'm just using one of those just to give it a quick wipe over. Um. <coughs> Sorry. need to control my breathing and then I'll probably be okay um, so yeah I just used the alcohol wipes just to give a quick wipe around the um, the outside of the nib there where I hold on to the marker and inside the lid as well while the wipe was still wet because they do dry very quickly so just working my way around here I was actually messaging our designer Joe at the time of colouring this image in so that's why sometimes you see me leave my colouring and come back again I don't do a lot of animal colouring like this um, Normally I'm, I'm very into my blending when it comes to animals and things, but this one, this little kitty, it just, it needed to be fluffed up. So that's what I've done. I was going to use my N markers, but um, I think some of them are in another place in my craft room and they're hiding from me at the moment. So tomorrow we've got the in-law grandparents coming over for uh, lunch. Um, it's actually a sh Anzac Day here in Australia tomorrow, so it's a public holiday. So my husband has the day off, um, and I don't normally work Wednesdays anyway, but sometimes I do cover the public holidays, but I've got the day off as well. And my youngest, Logan, is on school holiday, so it was just the three of us tomorrow, so we thought we'd invite them over for lunch and go through that one. <coughs> Sorry go through all our wedding photos with them so they could have a look um, my friend Christy did all of our wedding photos for us and she dropped over the USB a couple of days ago with all the photos so that we could 
start getting them pr printed and uploaded and shown around and all those fun things that everyone does and the photos are just absolutely spectacular so we're quite impressed with her work um, she doesn't normally do wedding photos so that's pretty exciting so I'm just working my way around with that C oh I go again sorry guys I'm also tired. It is almost 11 o'clock here at the moment. Husband is asleep, child is asleep, and I probably should be sleeping, but like I said, I'm behind on things at the moment, so I'm pulling a late one to get this video edited and uploaded, ready for the release for Joe. Sorry, I was playing with my lighting, so just giving the camera a second to refocus so I'm now going in with the C5 marker so still using exactly the same flicking motion no I don't normally color this fast um, I have sped it up in iMovie just so that you guys don't have to watch me colour for an hour which is in between messages that's about what it took I was also hanging out washing and phone calls and you know as all this stuff happens it always does when you're in the middle of something important but it's also the life of a mum multitasking so So I'm now down to the C3 marker, I think, by the look of it. So I'm just, excuse me, typing again here. I'm just um, flicking my way through, just trying to blend out those dark colours because they are quite stark here at the moment, especially the ones above the lip. had to go into my work today to um, get put onto the nebulizer that's how bad my breathing is at the moment I just feel like I'm never getting enough air into my lungs so I'm struggling a bit with all this talking so I decided the little kitty needed to have some pink cheeks and just a little bit on the inside of his ears and I'm just using my C1 marker now just to try and tone everything down a little bit I'll just give it a minute and then I think I go back in again. So I'm now going through some pattern papers. I am using a, sorry guys, <coughs> Fancy Pants Designs Hopscotch 6x6 paper pad. So that orange piece was actually already pre-cut. left over from another project um, and the white that you can see behind is a white pre-made card base from Twiddly Bits. They're actually not available to purchase anymore. The company's not around anymore so um, thankfully I did purchase a bulk lot I don't know, about three years ago and I'm still getting through them so unfortunately once they're gone from my stash they're gone and I'll have to um, I don't know, maybe make them myself. I'm not really sure because I love my square cards. So here I'm just playing with some lawn. Oh dear, sorry. Some lawn fawn stitch circle dies. I'm just trying to work out what I'm going to do. <coughs> so my plan was to cut the circle but not cut it all the way around because I wanted the sentiment sticking out of the side of the circle. So that's why I think I ended up going with the smaller circle. This is where I decided the kitty needed to have a shadow. So I've just gone in with my W markers. So I'm using W3 and W5 just to create that shadow. 
and then I'll go back in and I'm just drawing some lines on the top and the bottom of the sentiment so that I knew where I needed to cut or to um, make sure that my die, my um, my words are not working today either. My big shot cutting plates were not over that area. Just uh, rubbing out the pencil lines there. Sorry guys, I'm just going to leave you on mute for a second while this is going. I'm just going to take my pencil and...